Welcome back to our YouTube channel again. This is Ethan Kors from Kors Trading, and today we have uh, the uh, the famous soft proofer from Bang & Olufsen. This is the BioLab 2. The BioLab 2 is present and manufactured in 2001, and is designed by the famous designer David Lewis. The BioLab 2 is coming in the gray painted aluminum structure is very heavy and has a big cabinet and over here we have all the inputs i'm gonna talk about more about these so uh, we're gonna deassemble all the the whole biolab 2 in this episode the biolab 2 has actually long-term maximum output power for around uh, 850 watts it has uh, on each side has a passive radiator and and the front we have the big base unit at button you can actually angle the the lab 2 in different uh, directions but we have the the big uh, rubber foot underneath so um, we're gonna also we're gonna first actually remove the bezel around each uh, drivers and also for the passive radiator. Inside the BioLab 2 uh, has a big power amplifier model, it's actually class C and the maximum sound pressure level can be up to 110 decibel in stereo. If you look at the settings at the bottom, we have uh, many options. We have the mains, there's a power source, and we have actually a three uh, power link, one power link input and two power link outputs. So you can actually build the system around your house. You can uh, set it in different positions. We have uh, the free oh, at the wall or in the corner, and we have uh, dif different uh, setups we, we can uh, put in. We're gonna start by removing the bezel and each side and we're gonna remove all the parts inside the BioLab 2. So um, I've done it before one time so I hope you also enjoy my, enjoy my videos and also I hope you like this video and subscribe to our channel and support us and I hope you will enjoy and follow our channel and see where the channel is going and more video will be uploaded into our channel so uh, stay tuned and we're gonna begin soon as always safety first i think uh, let's try to remove first thing lay your bill we have laid down the build up uh, two at the side and we need to remove the bezel you can take a flat screwdriver or a metal, just pull it in here on each side and you can actually lift it on each side. Oh. And here we go and the last side. And here we have the bezel is holding in in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. Uh, I think this one has broken down into the input. So uh, let's take our tool and remove uh, those three screws that are holding the, the passive radiator. I'm gonna speed up the process. Here we go, the last screw is out. And let's try to lift the press radio. It's not heavy actually, so it's also disconnected. There's no wires or anything. It's just helping to move around. And also here we have the part number. So inside the BioLab 2, we have the, the big base unit. And we have the power transformer here, and we have the uh, the big modules, the power amplifier, and 
the power supply board. So uh, the next step will be rolling the BioLab 2 and let's try to remove the other passive radiator. Same method, just take a credit card or a flat screwdriver, whatever you have in the home. And actually you can also paint uh, these uh, bezel rings at over the years the the paint is getting sticky and it's like the BioLab 2 and BioSan 4 the materials is very sticky it's hard to remove but you can buy some paint remover lay it down wait until the paint is removing and then you can um, paint them again so we're gonna put this bezel aside and we're gonna take a screwdriver again remove those four screws and I'll speed up the process again the last screws out so uh, take a flat screwdriver here and lift it up and you can see it's not too heavy you can just pull it out so it's, it's I the, the speakers actually is identical there's no hard number it's nearly the same yes so we are finally removed both uh, passive radiators from the BioLab 2 chassis. The next step will be removing the big base, base unit. To remove the base unit, it's the same uh, method. We need to remove the bezel around the base unit. Just remove it, take your time. Don't uh, break the, the small uh, pins. Take your time. And here we go. Back to Brazil. Same process. Four screws. I'm gonna split out the process again. We have finally removed the screws around the, the bass unit. The bass unit is holding by uh, three uh, cables. Uh, you can actually see the cables uh, if you hold with your th uh, finger here. You can uh, see the cables are located there is one here and one here and the other one is actually is connected here so uh, we can pull the cable and here and the other one we can pull it here and the last one so now we have disconnected the best unit we can actually just lift it up from here go check your time and here we go here is the best unit the big one I think this is the biggest best unit Bang Olus has made beside the build up two uh, beside the build up five and it's very big and heavy and it's a well made great construction and we also have a part number underneath it's a big bass unit so we're gonna put this aside next step will be removing the the big uh, rubber foot underneath the BLOP 2 so we're gonna do that I'm gonna speed up the process again and the last screws out we can just lift the rubber foot and here it is and you can actually angle it however you want the, you can actually lift the, the angle and you can make it the best point then directly to your position and we're gonna remove that next process will be removing the the big transformer board uh, let's try to disconnect the cables And there's one cable here and it's full, fully disconnected. And let's try to remove the big solid uh, transformer. Okay, we have actually come in this position where we can't remove um, the, power, uh, the power transformer because the edges around the, the power transformer is fully damaged. So it's going to be very challenging to remove that because um, 
I don't think we can remove the the power transformer and all the amplify models, but I'm going to try and see if we can't if we can. Okay, we have finally removed the screws from the chassis. Uh, there's uh, four screws underneath we need to remove, but I'm sh Yo, there we go. We need to remove this one first. Here we go. Uh, there's a cable here we need to remove. Do that first before you're removing the. Here we go. Here we have the power supply board, amplifier board. And this is the PCB board one. And I don't know what PCB board this is, but uh, this is a complete unit. As you can see, actually we can also remove that, but we're gonna just leave it here. Here we have all the parts laying down. We have three times uh, bezels. We have uh, two times uh, bass radiator and we have the the big woofer bass unit and we have the complete power transformer and power amplifier and this is the PCB board one we also have the power transformer and we also have the LED indicator right here underneath. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you like it and subscribe to our channel and follow us in our social media accounts and you will get the last details and updates and all the products in our website. Also subscribe to the channel. I hope you like this video. Stay tuned.